you, what's up guys, it's your boy, it's Twilight 2K7, and we are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 Firefighter mod video, and today we're going to be taking another look at Medic uh, 4523, his fire truck that he released a little while ago. Um, it came with two skins actually, so the first couple of videos we did, we used the Grape Seed Fire Department skin, and it also comes with another skin which is based off of Clay County in Florida. Uh, engine 24 so as you can see we're currently at station 24 here in Polito Bay in game now um, first thing I noticed once I put this into my game and I like I spawned it in the first thing I noticed was the black line across the Clay County um, fire department shield there and um, you know, sadly, I kind of knew what that represented, so I went online and I kind of just searched Clay County and Fire Department, and I kind of found out about a firefighter. His name was um, Jeremy McKay, and Jeremy McKay, he was a um, firefighter and paramedic with Engine 24 in real life in Florida, in Clay County. So he served on this engine for 14 years, and before that, he was actually a Marine Corps veteran as well. So he served in the United States military, and then he served as a firefighter. And tragically, um, I found out when I did my research that he passed away due to cancer. So first thing I want to say is just my condolences to his family, his loved ones, his co-workers, the whole fire department. And to also, I know a lot of different people watch my videos from all around the country and, you know, sadly, we hear about line of duty deaths way too often. So I just want to take a minute out to say thank you to all of our first responders out there and let's keep, keep them in our thoughts and prayers and the ones that are no longer with us, let's just pray for them and pray for their family or at least you know just think about them and thank them so very um sad to learn about his passing so yes i know it's not like how we normally start off our videos but um definitely wanted to mention that since um you know it is what it is unfortunately so we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video um like i was saying this is the same engine that we used when we did the grape seed fire department and um yeah it has a really nice skin the clay county skin looks really nice it's actually the first time i've seen it and um it looks amazing so shout out to medic 4523 for doing an amazing job and for everybody else that helped out and i just think this is a very beautiful tribute very very nice as you can see lots of detail on the overall engine you see the pumping area nice lights We'll get to hear the sirens and horns in a little while once we'll start responding to calls. But yeah, very, very nice fire truck mod here in game. And as always, I will link it down below in the video description in case you guys would like to check it out for yourselves as along with the uh, fire station as well. So let's go ahead and let dispatch know we are today and available and um, we'll get this episode started, guys couple cool things that you could do with the fire truck if you guys see like these um the scene lining up here you can actually turn that on and off which is pretty cool and then obviously the lights you could turn on and off and we also have um can't think of the name right now but the um lights like that too so i'm gonna pull this into the bay here uh the rest of our firefighters are all inside and again, we'll just let dispatch know that we are back in service. And let's see what they have for us. Alright, beautiful. Oh, another cool thing we could do too is actually take this ladder down. I'll, uh, let me see if I can show you guys in here if we have enough space. I think we do. So if you use them, your menu, all you gotta do is go to your door section and you go ahead and just hit trunk and it would bring the ladder down to kind of role play you taking off, which is pretty cool. So very nice mod by Medic. As always, thank you Medic for all of the awesome uh, fire as well as police and EMS mods that you released for us, which are very awesome. 
alert, 100, fire, on a farm, pallets on fire, location, Palato Bay, Street, Great Ocean Highway. Alright guys, we got a report of a fire, we have some pallets on fire, let's go ahead and respond to that. Alright guys, so let's respond. Look like it's gonna be right here on a uh, Polito Boulevard on Route 1. Okay, we are should be arriving on scene here. Do we have anything showing? Up, oh, yep, we do have fire out here. Oh, someone's over there too. All right, let's get to work fast, guys. Somebody's in danger. Let's get our turnout on. Grab a line here. Let's stretch this line. Oh, wow. Seriously. Alright, I see the guy running. Did he get out? I did see a guy that looked like he was on fire here, but it looks like he was able to self-evacuate. Alright, so we have fire starting to spread. Let's get some line stretch and operation. Now, unfortunately, in single player, we don't actually have a hose that we could stretch for anybody that's new to Grand Auto 5 or the Firefighter mod. So, kind of just have to use these fire extinguishers to get the job done. We also update dispatch and let them know we are on <laughs> we are on scene with a confirmed fire here. Everybody, watch yourselves. This fire! Oh man, this fire is spreading fast. This thing is spreading, guys. All right, it's starting to go back. I wonder how did this fire start? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Looks like we have most of the fire out here. Okay, a lot of it burned down. Still some more burning over here though. So I'll knock this out. Oh, it's spreading out again. All right, let me try to get ahead of it and slow it down. Oh, we have a big one today thing just keep on spreading you know what it is we haven't had much rain lately and this grass is dry so it's just spreading so fast as you guys can see just gotta wet down this whole area so it seems to be concentrated over here. This is where it keeps starting from. So something over here is causing all of this stuff to burn. Yep, see it's spreading again. All right, you know what guys? I thought we were gonna be able to handle this, but I'm gonna call in a engine, another engine to help us out. Request of fire engine in progress. Okay, so we should have a second do engine pulling up to help us out. Fire this. engine request completed. A unit goes to your intervention. Alright, so second do engine should be pulling up. Sorry about their siren isn't uh, coming up properly. It just sounds like a random tone for some reason. Oh, it's spreading up again. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. Alright, you know what? Let's let's focus our efforts over here. It's really flammable stuff. Must be like some type of fertilizer or something. Hey, what the fuck? Alright, I think we're gonna actually knock it down before the second do engine gets on scene. I hear them, but I don't see them. 
All right, engine 24 to dispatch. Looks like we have the uh, fire under control. Got nothing else showing. It actually took us a little while to put out. Here comes our second new engine. Arriving on scene. Oh, watch out. Fire engine unit on site. Alright, we, we went with the under control. We, we got it. Alright, so let's pack up our hose. And we'll get back in service. I figured we'll be able to knock it out by ourselves, but I wanted to make sure, so that's why I called for an extra engine. Oh, whoa, what just happened? How did... Wow. Oh, watch out, watch out. Alright, let's get out of here. But yeah, I figured we'll be running low on tank water, and that fire did not look like it wanted to stop. So I was like, you know what, let me get another uh, engine out here just in case we run out of water. So let's head back to the firehouse. It's a pretty good call for our first one. Alright, let's make a U turn here. So we are tonight and back in service. I'm also at the time cycle too. So we're gonna let that go. Maybe we'll be able to do some firefighting here at night too. But yeah guys, hope you guys are all having a great day. And as always, thank you for coming and checking out the video. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. I know you guys have been enjoying uh, all of the firefighter mod videos that we have been doing lately. So I'm gonna try to do them more often. But um, I just wanna say thank you all. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought we were about to lag lag out and crash for a second. All right, guys, so we're back at the firehouse. Let's see what else happens today. Alert, 110, other fire unspecified, fire of agricultural equipment, location, Mount Kiliad, Street, Great Ocean Highway. All right, looks like we have another one. Looks like it's in the same general area as well. Fire with farming equipment, okay. This is that add-on map, so they kind of get confused, like, with walking around. Because to them, they can't, like, see any of the map and stuff. Okay, here we go. Bit of that power call in on this one. Power call, sir.
This is kind of suspicious that we have two fire on two different farms within a couple minutes of each other. Oh, here we go. This one doesn't look too bad as long as we stop it in time. Alright, so let's get our line stretched. Alright, so we got this one under control. Uh, so I always forget to let dispatch know we're on scene and what a confirmed fire. Alright, that one wasn't too bad, not at all. <laughs> Knocked it down, and we are back in service. Alert, 100, fire, residential building fire, location, Palato Bay, Street, Duluaz Abe. Alright, we got another fire, we didn't even clear this one, well, we cleared this one, but we didn't even leave the scene of this one yet. We have a report of a residential going up now. Alright guys, we're getting multiple calls on this one. Looks like we're going to a confirmed fire. Possibly people are trapped. Looks like it's going to be this house right here. Got a hydrant right behind us. We're going to hook up to that. I don't see anything showing yet. Really? Was this a false alarm? We had multiple callers and everything, but... Oh wow. Alright guys, so unfortunately, well I guess fortunately there's no fire, so that's good. Um, fortunately there's no fire. Maybe this was some type of accidental call or... Oh, I see they're grilling. You guys okay? Yeah, we, we got a report of a house fire here. Maybe they just saw your, uh, I guess they just saw you guys were out here grilling and saw the smoke and thought there was a fire. Okay, yeah, your your neighbors were were worried. Oh, okay. Oh, glad everybody's okay. All right, so I guess the uh, neighbors saw the smoke from the grill going up, and I guess they thought it was like the house was on fire or something like that. Wow. All right, so uh, we're gonna go back into the service. We'll let dispatch you know it was a false alarm. Yeah, we have nothing showing here at all. I think we could also use this thermal camera too. Yeah, so we can just confirm with the thermal camera that we have nothing showing here. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. All right, let's pack it up and let's get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Come on, man. Alert, 110, other fire unspecified, fire in a garage, location, Mount Kiliad, Street, Great Ocean Highway. Alright, we've got a report of a garage fire. Looks like it's going to be in that same area of the uh, farm fire that we responded to earlier. Looks like this call is going to be a little bit far out for us. in this area. Oh crap. Alright, we could fit, so we're gonna bring the engine in. I'm gonna request a uh, police unit. Oh, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna call a police unit just because this area is kind of crazy sometimes. Request of police in progress. Alright, let's get a line stretched. Knock this fire out. Police request completed. A unit goes to your intervention. Alright, we're running off of tank water, guys. We gotta make this count. Looks like we got here before the fire was able to get too far out of control. Oh, it's spreading a bit back here. wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be a little bit worse actually, but yeah. Police unit on site. Fire is knocked out. It looks like we have no injuries. Everybody is okay. You know what actually now that I think about it, this area is not as bad. I was thinking of that other area which is like there's like that campsite, that weird place over here. And when you, as soon as you go in there, like all of the people, it's like a cult basically. All of the people that a cult like attack you. So that's where I was 
thinking of at first, but I'm like, wait a minute. We're, we're good here. Hey, what the? Okay, all right, so let's go back into service. I'll let dispatch know we are 10 8 and available. All right, let's see what else they have for us. So we'll take off our gear, pack the lines back up. Oh yeah, I forgot to put on our scene lighting as well. So now you guys can kind of see how it looks at night. How well it lights up the area for us. Alert. 100. Fire. Wood storage. Localized fire. <laughs> Location. Palato Forest. Street. Great Ocean Highway. All right, so we literally just got back and not even finished parking and another call is coming in. Wood storage, this is gonna be at the uh, lumber yard it looks like. I don't see anything. Oh, nope. I'm wrong. I see something. I love the scene lighting. Look how much lighting we have now. This looks awesome. Alright. That was easy. <laughs> This would have been a terrible fire too. All this wood here and all of this is dry. We did not get here in time. This thing would have just went up. Whoops, sorry, sorry. So so sorry, man. Yeah, this engine looks beautiful. Look how it looks at night. Yeah, we may have to take a nighttime screenshot. I don't normally take screenshots at night, but that looks dope. Let's actually do a quick rock starter there of that. That looks beautiful. Alright. Back to the station we go. And I think we're going to call it a night, guys.
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. Again, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. And also, let's keep our first responders and our thoughts and prayers as well. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.